Sword Nation. Sword Nation. Sword Nation. Sword Nation. What's up, everybody? Happy noon time. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hope everyone is having a great day, a great week. Let's uh, get this camera in and let's see how it looks. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Got a lot to show you guys today. Um, and also just want to say um, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Looking forward to seeing who hits the room first. Where is Jay? Where is Miguel? Oh, I see another pair of eyes have joined the show. Booga 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 boo. Hey, what's up, Landon? How the heck are you? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'm not good at pantomime, but I'll do my best for you. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day at work, and I hope it's uh, going by beautifully and fast. Oh. Thank you, Dakota. Much your love. Jay Taylor's in the house. All right. Hey, Eric. Ah, oh, God, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Um, I have some fun show. I got some classic stuff. Got a couple new stuff. Mostly classic, but there's some new. So anyways, um, I know everyone is um, happy it's 2021, and there was something I, I forgot to do. Uh, before the end of the year that I'll do uh, towards the middle of the show before I go off and um, Just uh, a little something for me to show my love to all you guys uh, for the support and watching the show so it's uh, A little something I did for those who are long distance um, and I want to share it with all you guys Because uh, you're all special to me. So uh, without further ado do 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 ha 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 let me check my time, make sure. Uh, I apologize if you hear some growling noises. Um, I, I got some Slappy Joe's, so I'm getting ready to eat Sloppy Joe's after I'm done doing this. What is up, Bob? <laughs> All right, let me start things off. Thought I'd uh, break one of these out. Someone had purchased this previously and decided they didn't want it. So now I'm offering it here again. This is a Lady Death Icon. It is a CGC Signature Series. It's a 9.8. It is signed by Mike DeBalfo and Brian Polito, and it is a number three edition. So, someone wanted to grab this, and they, uh, they got scooped up before they could grab it. Well, here it is again. I bring this out here. Here you go, but that is a number three graded. How does that look up there? Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. All right. Lots of work to do, a lot of catching up after this wonderful vacation we had. Uh, Blast Me Anthem, this is a Death Wars Metallic. I got like one or two of these left and that is it. Uh, they are not picked up here on the catacombs. Uh, I'm going to have to hide them somewhere deep, deep somewhere. So maybe bring it out to a show or something like that. Some other newbies I have. Um, this one right here is the Lady Death Sworn Jaunt into Darkness Holofoil. I uh, got this one is signed. Has the silver COA. I have this one available right now. If you have any questions, give a shout out. Uh, Bob, how was your holiday season? And same with you and Eric. Um, I I don't didn't do a little. Uh, Excuse me chatting with you guys on Monday show and I apologize um, if anyone uh, <laughs> Went to the CBSN on Monday and I wasn't there. Well, I couldn't broadcast live on there even though that was gonna be my last show So yeah, oh, there's some pricey stuff and there's some Not so pricey stuff. So I brought in some classics I have here the Lady Death Blacklands hat. This is the premium cover. I have a few of these. I think I have about 10 of these on right now at Catacombs. Not all this stuff is real pricey. I got some like stuff that'll like, four to ten dollar range. So try to cover all the bases today. Oh my word. Here we go. 
go. Uh oh, who's messaging me now? Who can it be now? Boo -boo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know who that is. Okay. Next up, I have the Lady Death Black Lens number one. This is the Combat Cover. I am talking very funny today, and I don't know why. I hope it's not signs that I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> and that would be awkward to do live on camera, so <laughs> I'll do not. I will not do that. So, I've got a few of these left. I think i got ten of these on the store right now here at the Catcombs. Got any mixes of some of the classics and new stuff. Also, there was uh, two gentlemen that have joined our group, and I saw their messages an hour ago, and I wanted to uh, have everyone... You know, say hi to them and make them feel welcome. Uh, Mike Herman um, just made his first po post two hours ago. He is a new member here of the Sworn Nation. Um, he managed to uh, manage a shop when Chaos first started releasing titles. Huge fan of Lady Death, Evil Learning, Purgatory, Chastity, etc. Okay, onwards we go. Even had the Doomsday album when it was released. I remember that album. That's pretty cool. That's old school. Uh, lost, uh, okay. Uh, been rebuilding my collection over the last year. We'll definitely be picking up some new stuff. Mike, if you are watching this by any chance, welcome. Uh, everyone on this group is an amazing, amazing person. Uh, they're always here to help folks out. Uh, people that are rediscovering that Lady Death is still going strong here at Coffin Comics, um, they will definitely help you uh, get you hooked up and get you stuff. It's a really great community. So welcome, and thank you for finding us again, Mike. Uh, another new member, um, Thomas Const uh, Constantino. Very cool name, I might add. Um, hey guys, just joined the group, wanted to share uh, some of my collection. Um, welcome to the group. Thomas and Mike. Uh, everyone make these guys feel welcome. They are new members here at the Sworn Nation, so um, let's give them a fine thumbs up. Let's give them some love and let's show them why this is the best group in all of comics. The Sworn Nation and Coffin Comics fans. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for discovering us, Mike. Uh, it's good to have you back, and I really think you're going to enjoy a lot of the stuff that uh, we have created here at Coffin Comics. So welcome back. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. So everyone make those two guys welcome. <laughs> All right. Also got another classic. We have the Blacklands issue one commemorative. Uh, this copy is only $6 and I have again 10 copies. So, a lot of this Avatar stuff is uh, getting close to completely being out of stock. Once it's gone, well, there it goes. Blacklands, number one, issue one, Martin cover. I like this one because I really love the lion in that artwork, and I love the spear. Um, very cool looking imagery on that one. Another new item I have, I have the issue one of the premium of Blacklands. I wish I had a complete run of Blacklands. I don't. I mostly have one, twos, maybe a three. Uh, no fours, unfortunately. I am sold out of a lot of these. Um, these were originally on eBay, and um, a lot of them got scooped up uh, when I first put them up there uh, almost a year ago now. And so, this is the one was a rip cover from Blacklands number one. Make sure I don't get too much of a flare on there for you. Also, everybody, um, let's see who else is in the group today. No, I'm not going to request to join my own broadcast, you silly internet. Okay, next up, we have the wrap cover. Juan Jose Rip did this one. This is issue one of Avatar's Blacklands. This is the wrap cover. Really beautiful cover. I really love this wrap cover. And as I've said before, I'm really a fan of Ron Jose Rip's art style. It's just, some about it is very attractive to me. Um, I just don't know. I just really love what he does with the art. So, so sue me. All right. 
also got a couple hollow foils left here. Boom, 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 boom. A couple items left for y'all. We have the Lady Death uh, Celebration. This is the number three edition, signed by Brian. And I kept the old school red COA that was in there as well. I believe this one was um, found in a Constock box I was going through. I was like, holy cow, that would have been uh, cool to have at the uh, Tucson Comic Con last year. All right, next one we have the Lady Death Moments number one, Daughter of Satanus Hollow Foil Edition. I have two to three copies left, and that is it. They're going bye bye. Boom, boom, boom. Another awesome hollow foil from uh, the Emerald City Comic Con a couple years ago. This is a vault copy, it's a number six. It is the Extinction Express Miss Emerald Death Hollow Foil cover. Also, you'll be noticing uh, Jimmy and I are coming up with some really fun ideas for upcoming shows. Um, don't forget, Monday, we're going to be doing our first live um, broadcast of the CCSN on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe to YouTube. Uh, click the little dingy bells to let get notified when we're uploading content for you there. So definitely come and check it out. Let me see. What do I got here? Mark, I did. How was your New Year's? Um, how's everyone's New Year doing, man? It's, it's just nice to... It's nice and brisk and chilly out here in Arizona, finally. Winter has set in. I, our winters are very light compared to most of the country, I will admit. Um, but it's nice to have um, waking up in the morning and feeling a nice chill in the air instead of, do I need to turn on the AC this early in the morning or not? So it's it's been really beautiful so far. This January has just been gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Uh, another publisher file for all you David Finch fans. This is the Chase White. This is a publisher file. So these are the fun selections I have for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be doing some weird digging arounds. There's going to be some really interesting onesie stuff um, I'll be presenting and also some fun little chopskis um, that I've been finding here and there to present on the catacombs. So. Um, I can't wait to present that with you. Um, Jimmy and I are also planning to uh, kind of spruce up the show a bit since we're going to be on YouTube. So um, I really am excited. Um, both Jimmy and I are uh, going to be doing some work in this week uh, for Monday's presentation. So stay tuned. YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to it, please go to YouTube. Look up the Coffin Comics TV and subscribe and get notified when we uh, upload new content on there. So we'll be doing live Monday shows, CCSN, which previously was on the CBSN on Facebook, is now coming to Coffin Comics YouTube channel. So I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, I'm really, uh, Jimmy's really been doing some amazing work um, with some of our presentations with the graphics and all that other stuff. So um, I'm really excited to see what we're going to, present to you guys and uh, I think you're going to have some fun and we're going to make it fun. I'm not always going to sell stuff. I'm going to be goof because you guys know I'm goofy and haha, uh -huh, it's a new year. So a new year for me to be even goofier than I was before because I think I'm a little more comfortable in front of the camera these days uh, than I was prior uh, a year ago when I started doing these. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Uh, does anyone have any questions on anything at all um, before I... I can probably bring one of you guys on live, actually, since I am not doing this with the microphone hooked up. So if anyone would like to be brought on, let me see if I can bring anyone on. I haven't done this in a while. Um, no, it's not letting me. Well, that is awful. Awful! Oh, well. We'll get it all figured out. Get it all figured out. I'm going to take off my sombrero, if you guys don't mind. It's a little warm in this room. Oh, whew! And I think I need to get some extra flair for my sombrero. Woo, that thing is hot. Hot. So, real quick, guys. Um, it's a new year. We've got um, some really cool stuff coming down the line. In February, we will be launching our next Kickstarter of Lady Death. So, stay tuned for that. 
Friday, Brian is planning uh, to make some announcements on Friday around 4 p.m. So stay tuned for that. I know you all look forward to his announcements. He's got some pretty cool stuff coming your way. Up here in the catacombs? Uh, let's see. I actually may bring some up uh, onto the catacombs. Um, I think I might have a few uh, that have come my way, but I'm gonna wait until um, everything has been received just in case uh, any of the stock I do have, I need to give to uh, maybe help fill some orders or what have you. So when I have the okay, I will be having some of those on there. Um, so yeah, keep keep your eyes peeled, uh, Mark. Uh, it is something I have planned to put on there. I just want to make sure all the orders have been fulfilled and whatnot before I um, offer them up here on the catacombs. So, good question. And uh, yes, I, I am planning to do something with the few copies I have. Not many, but I do have a few. So um, I got a little idea rattle around my head for that. <clears throat> So real quick, um, there was something I wanted to do while I was at home and I forgot. Um, last year was tough on everyone. Um, and this community has just done some amazing things. Uh, you guys have come together and we've moved our sworn nation, which was going to be in February of this year, to February of next year, which I think is even better. Um, but I was looking forward to really seeing a lot of you guys this year. But since it's been postponed, and uh, I wanted to give something personally from me to all you guys, uh, real quick, everyone just put their right hand on their left shoulder. When you've done that, please put your left hand on your right shoulder and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with all your might. When you guys are done, I just wanna say that was my way of giving you all a hug um, and as a way of thanking you and my way of just appreciating such a, a fun year of doing these shows and um, you guys being a part of it. So thank you very much, guys. Um, it's It's been my pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, for those who have watched some of the first few episodes, um, I was a bit of a, a nervous wreck. Um, so uh, I got a lot better, I think, during the shutdown um, when I was working from home. Uh, really helped me uh, get out of my comfort zone and just be wacky, goofy myself. Um, and then my wife made this beautiful jumpsuit, uh, so I always have something to wear whenever I'm on camera with Brian and everyone. So, uh, like I say, last year was a lot of fun for me uh, presenting everything with you guys, and I just wanted to show my appreciation of that and by giving you all one big group hug. So I hope you all got it. <laughs> Uh, it looked like I was rubbing my nipples there when I was showing off my nice suit that my wife made. So, real quick, just to recap some of the stuff I have. Um, I have a graded edition. Someone passed on this on their order. This is a number three CGC Signature Series 9.8, signed by Brian Polito and Mr. DeBalfo. I will be putting a number three COA with this um, since it's graded and it does it come packed with the COA? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the COAs on there. Probably the last time and for a while we'll be showing these. So there was only 26 of this metal edition made. I have just put up the last couple we have. So this is Blasphemy Anthem Death Wars Metal Edition. So there's one or two left on these. David Finch fans. Right here I have a publisher file copy of Living Kiss Chase Edition White. Also, next week, I'll be putting up again some more old school stuff, um, some new stuff, but it's going to be a lot more of the Avatar stuff I'm slowly putting out there and cataloging, and it looks like a lot of it is selling out. So, if you've uh, been wanting to get that stuff, to collect it, do whatever you want with it, uh, like I say, a lot of what I've been showing are going to be the last of this stuff. I do have some stock held back uh, in case there's loss and damages, too. I still have a Jaunt Into Darkness signed. This is Lady Death Swarm. This is the hollow foil one. I have a couple copies. Of, or actually, I have the one copy that's signed. That's all she wrote. Also, I've been really liking um, 
seeing uh, everyone's shipments and some of the cool stuff they got in. Uh, those mystery envelopes uh, for Treacherous Infamy were pretty freaking amazing. And uh, Brian had us tip in extra stuff randomly into mystery envelopes. It's really cool to see uh, the comments of how excited you guys were that, oh, hey, I opened up my mystery envelope, got the edition, and there was an extra edition in there. Because we like to keep you guys guessing. My pancreas for that dog. Why would you want to do that? I'll add it to a collection though. How's that, Jay? I could say, there you go. If you guys want an addition, uh, you know, give, give me your body parts as a payment and I'll start a collection. Cause you know, you might need that pancreas later on too. I'm just saying. Um, with the classic stuff, I have Lady Death Blacklands. This is the combat cover. Mark, thank you for joining us. Uh, enjoy your day. I hope your day flies by along with your week. And I hope when you get home, you have some really nice chill time for yourself. Thank you, Mark, for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, got another classic avatar. This is the commemorative. Also, if there's anything I've had on the show previously and you were looking for it, I had someone reach out to me for an item and I was able to hook them up. So reach out to me sometimes i do have stuff i know most of the stuff on the catacombs we only keep up for five days and then boom they disappear um sometimes for good because we're out of them sometimes we'll reintroduce them later on down the road or who knows it might become future um con stock when those come back together <laughs> landon you're gonna fit great in this group i love it i love that god you guys are you guys make reading the comments so much fun. It's, it's, I, I want to try to make it so you guys are a part of the show because, you know, you guys, uh, I have to say, are a big part of our lives here. Um, and we love it. And we love you guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for Miguel to all of a sudden pop in and start uh, rambling on stuff. Another classic, Blacklands, number one. This is the Martin cover. <laughs> Pirates of the Pancreas. <laughs> All right, this is the premium cover for Blacklands. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love it. I love it. This is the Juan Jose Rip cover. Got about 10 of these. And then this is the wraparound cover. I love this one. That wraparound art is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Carmen, how are you? It's good to see you. And this is only priced like four or five bucks. So there you go. Carmen, how was your holiday? I haven't seen you since uh, we've been back. It's great to see you. You know what? I don't know. Brian likes to keep us in suspense just as much as you guys, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's kind of fun. I like it because... Um, I don't know what to expect, uh, and neither do you guys, so a lot of the time I'm finding out the information he's doing the same time you are, so we'll, uh, we'll figure that all out together. So Friday, let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it'll be neat to see what he brings up. Maybe, um, Carmen... Um, message me via inquiries and let me know what you're looking for and I'll see if I have any left. I know those editions uh, sold really good, um, but I might have one or two, maybe. Uh, I don't want to make any promises, but send me the list of what you're looking for, Carmen, uh, through the inquiries and Moonshine Mel will get me hooked up in no time and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. I'll definitely see. And oh, Carmen, make sure you do this and squeeze real hard because that's my personal hug to each and every one of you I just did. Uh, I wanted to do it while I was at home for the uh, into the, the last shows I was doing, but um, I forgot because I was having fun doing the show at home with everyone. So, anywho, <laughs> I look like a mummy doing that. Hi. So, yeah, squeeze real hard. Bing, bing, bing. Squeeze hard. You'll always be thinking about me and you'd squeeze that hard. You all got a hug for me personally, so pass that along. Pass that along for someone. I know we got this whole weird social distancing, so 
your arms over and squeeze someone. Let them know how to do it. You are so welcome, Carmen. You are so welcome. All right, I got five more minutes. Let's see here. Okay, that's... Oh. I see. Okay, okay. I got to do it on this side. <laughs> hey, I know what to do for next time. <laughs> yeah! Woo! All right. I think I might have something figured out. Yay. All right, so uh, Monday show. We're going to be live on YouTube. Uh, Jimmy's going to be back behind the camera doing his magical camera stuff and doing some graphics. It's going to be fun. We're, we, we're, we're going to be making sure we have a lot of cool content for you all. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, 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 please subscribe today. Put on that little notification bell to let you know when we're going live or when we're uploading content. So I'm really excited. Going to go live on YouTube Monday, 3 p.m. Arizona time, which is 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's hard to adjust to this because we don't change times here. Um, so, which will be uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, everybody, hope you're there. Hope to see you guys. Uh, thank you. Happy New Year to you all. Remember, Brian has a State of the Union address on third Friday. To it is Friday, so expect the unexpected. As I told you guys, I don't know what he's going to say. So I'll probably be in the audience um, or off to the side there somewhere watching it with you guys. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got coming up. So spread the word. Brian's got some special announcements to make Friday, 4 p.m. Sword Nation. So real quick, let me just check on a couple things real fast. Perfect. All right, I just got a couple more minutes and I'm already getting weird messages from people. <laughs> Quick thanks. Uh, okay, what did I miss out over here? Okay. All right, real quick. Uh, personally, I want to say thank you, everybody. Um, it's been a fun year. I'm glad it's gone. We're in the new one and we're even closer to Swarmfest, and this year we've got a bunch of great books and great stories for you all. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys on Friday with Brian's special announcements at 4 p.m., and I'll see you guys on our YouTube channel on Monday, 3 p.m. Be there, and I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Have an amazing day, and I hope you have an even better weekend. Hasta la bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>